First tonight, the future of a health clinic located inside the Grant Middle School remains unknown after a special meeting this afternoon. News 8's Taylor Morris was at the Grant Public School Board meeting. She has what the community is saying about the ongoing issue. Amanda, this meeting comes nearly two weeks after the board voted to cut ties with the Children and Adolescent Health Center. But the decision is now facing a legal challenge. The district superintendent, Brett Zuver, says a surprise motion was made, one that was not on the agenda. Now this evening, another meeting took place where many people showed up and spoke out. You were so quick to shut down the community talking to you before you made a decision about our children's well-being. I'm ashamed of what's happening in this community right now. The mood was tense as dozens of people packed into the Grant Middle School cafeteria Friday evening for a school board meeting. Yes. Members of the Grant community uniting to show support for the Children and Adolescent Health Center located in the middle school. A tool many say is vital to children and families in the district. Two years. That's the waiting list for ADHD testing for Spectrum. This health center can provide that in a much quicker time doing the same testing. You guys have made a lot of children upset about your decision, and I would like you to reconsider it. And what you said you were committed to is this community, the teachers here, the kids, my kids. But the question remains, why did those board members vote for the health center to close? Many people at tonight's meeting say it's because of this mural, which includes LGBTQ plus symbols and was painted on the walls of the health center. Some saying it sexualizes children. I believe that the sexualizing of children at any level is wrong. And of all the lovely themes that could have been chosen to mark the walls of the health center, a sexual theme was chosen. However, many people disagree, including board member Rob Shudema, who spoke on behalf of his own personal opinion. I, I can't get into too much of that, but I know that that, that mural has been um, a source of uh, frustration and an issue for a lot of people in here. Everybody knows this is about the mural. Please, yeah. please yeah. realize kids' lives are more important than the mural. After tonight's meeting, we asked those board members why they voted for the health center to close. Why did you guys move forward with closing the health center? We're not giving a comment. Is it because of the mural? We are not giving any comments. When it comes to what's next, Shudema says he is holding out hope that the health center will remain open. What else do I have? <laughs> you, you come. Well, and I have the community yeah. that is obviously showing what Grant represents. One of the other things discussed tonight is the budget it takes to run the health center. One of the board members says it's a state-funded health care center, and according to people who spoke tonight, the only extra cost is around $5,000 for utilities. Amanda?